Uh, hey guys, um, today I have for you a new parkour spot, and I found this, I was just, um, I, I killed someone, and I was just running down an alleyway, and to me, what parkour is, it's to get away from people you don't want to be around, and to get, and to get away from people who are shooting at you, you know, you're in a crew, you're in a cop fight, and... Yeah, I just love using, I used to do parkour a lot, and I just love using the advantages it gives you. I, I've had some really good kills by doing parkour and free running. You know, as you see in this spot, you've got all down here, and you've got all along here. All the way up here, just to shoot, cover, kill people. And over here... You've got a wide, you, you've got a wide range. You can go all the way over there, and yeah, I found this spot just by randomly running around and killing people. And over here, it leads you down. I think, I think it leads you down to the closed store area. Yep. Um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't give you advantage away from helicopters and all that shit. But you can run away from helicopters, and most of the people in here don't know how to fly helicopters. And I like this spot around here. So over here, you've got a, a wide range of cover and you know shooting, shooting people and cruising and all that shit. And oh no, that was down a level. But yeah, this is the top level for it. And you'll go down here. And yeah, yeah, this is the spot I was talking about. So yeah, over here, like I said, you've got a wide range of killing people, streets, and cover. And it leads all the way down here. So you get through that gap. And it keeps on going, keeps on going. You get a spell. So yeah, rockets can get you if they shoot you, but I believe you will have the first the first shot on them. So I, I used to do lots of um park one free running free running on GTA 4. And that's why I um played GTA 4 for. <laughs> yeah, that's why I played Grand Theft Auto 4. Was this so you do free running parkour, but they did take that option out of this, um, out of this game. I don't know why. Lots of people done parkour and free running, and I'll show you a small clip um, after the video of me killing a person in there. It was actually pretty hectic. So yeah, I just like placed the landmine down, but I actually killed someone else. But he was at the, basically he was in a bad spot. He was there at the wrong time. <laughs> so yeah, you got no cover on this level. But up here, you do. And um, yeah, there'll be more episodes to come. I did type Grand Theft Auto 5 parkour and free running up on YouTube. And the main videos, they're not really that cool. They're not really that um, helpful at all either. Um, but yeah, so if I do get um, lots of views and likes on this episode and um, my other parkour videos, I will be doing more. Like, I love doing parkour and free running on Grand Theft Auto series, but yeah, it's just not that many people um, do it. But there are some people out there who love doing it. And um, yeah, so up here, you've got a massive. You've got a massive building to take over on. So you got you got all down there. you got all up here. And yeah, so now I'll show you the clips, what I've done today on this building.
What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel, so I'm showing you how to obtain free Tron outfits after the patch of 1.36. Now this glitch is really easy guys, it's actually really good as well because I know a lot of guys can't afford the Tron outfits and this is just an easier way of obtaining them, so you can get them into an online session and you can save them as an outfit. But for you guys, we reach job play on it, will be a lot, so if you are trying to content like this. But anyway guys, let's get straight into today's video. Now this method is the same method for the cop outfit, so I'm going to leave the job link down in the description so you can go and bootmark it. Then you just basically want to make a playlist with that job, then you want to play it, and as soon as you see it shows up in your recent activities that you've played that playlist, then you're all set to go. So basically from there, you want to start one of the deadline adversary modes, I started up deadline 3, um, and then you just want to invite your friend, and I put the settings on one round, five minutes uh, for the round um, like time and I put the lives on to two lives sure it doesn't go that long and it will be pretty easy just to like die every time and fail the mission but once you have your friend in the game it's pretty straightforward and from there now once you're in the game guys this is what you need to do you need to like either kill your friend or let your friend kill you two times or you can just jump off the map like I'm doing on screen uh, just to fail this mission and get it over and done with. It's pretty fun playing Deadline. You can have a lot of fun when doing this glitch. That's a good thing about this as well. But you do spawn with a default outfit. I had an orange outfit. My friend had a blue one. But because I was doing the glitch, I had an orange one. It doesn't really matter which outfit you do get though. But once you get past all these screens, you want to tell your friend just to vote and then continue on. Um, you do the same as well. Then once you get to this bit, you will see a timer down below. Uh, same method as cop outfit, tell your friend to count down and then you want to hit join players as soon as it gets to zero count one and then hit join playlist and if all of that's done correctly you will spawn in GA turn line inside your garage with this error message popping up saying are you sure you want to automatically join the session you want to hit circle or be on that error message and then head up to your apartment and then save the outfit but as I say yeah, this is a really awesome glitch and um, you can obtain the, uh, the the Tron outfit really easy. It's the same method as the cop outfit. As I said, guys, I will leave the job link down in the description for you guys to go and try this glitch out for yourself. Um, it's really unique as well because you can make some really good mod outfits. And by the way, you do not spawn with the Tron hel helmet when you're doing this glitch. Uh, much the only downside to it because I know a lot of you guys like the Tron helmet as well. But you can get a mask, put it on there, and you can make a really cool mod outfit with it. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you do leave a like on it. It's good if you're trying to this content like this. Bye guys, see you guys in it, so you'll peace and have a good day. Peace.